Welcome to this RevTrack and Tosca integration overview. During this video, we're going to show how RevTrack can submit objects to Tosca for automatic testing and how those test results can then impact the RevTrack workflow. We'll start off by creating a RevTrack request. In this case, the requirement will be a tax adjustment for GST of 2018. I'll choose a suitable project and request type. Of course, on customer site, all, many, or some of the workflow processes can in fact engage with Tosca. Here's our RevTrack request. This will be the place where the developer performs their changes and submits the transports for eventual migration. I'm gonna put this in progress. That's the developer's way of letting the business know that they're working on the change request. We've configured in Tosca uh, a specific test to check um, the data type for this zzchar5 domain. In this case, if I put anything other than the char value, it will result in a test failure. So initially I'm gonna create a test failure. We'll find the rev track request, which will be where this transport is then generated. And the SAP system has now created the transport. Looking at our SEO one view, we can see there's no logs or uh, data file yet available for this transport. It hasn't been released. Uh, so we'll come back and track the progression of these logs as we move the transport. Refreshing the ref track request, we can now see on the technical tab, the transport that's been associated with this ref track request. And of course, the areas that have been impacted by this transport. When the developers performed all the tasks that they need to in the development system, such as unit testing, and of course, all the adjustments to the objects that are required, they can trigger the migration to QA. We can see here the transports from system dev will be queued and migrated for QAS client 001. RiffTrack performs the automatic safety checks, which includes the dependency check, the impact assessment, and of course, the out of sequence migration check. On approval, we can now look at the logs as they start to take shape in SEO1. We can see this transport's busy being released, successfully being released, and we can see the import steps occurring for the QA system. On completion of the import to QA, RevTrack will automatically approve the in QA step. Now this is the same step we, where we submit the objects to Tosca for the automatic testing. We can see in the approval section, RevTrack automatically approved the in QA step, and that was based on the successful migration of the transports to the QA environment. When we look at the server where Tosca resides, we can actually see that automatically in the background, the various test scripts are being run. You can now see the various actions that Tosca is performing. And once it's complete, it will update the RevTrack request accordingly. Now that the test execution is complete, It will take just a moment to synchronize back to RevTrack. You can see in the References tab, in the meantime, that the test has been submitted. Okay. And this XML file here uh, represents the test script in flight. Now looking at the References tab, we can see that the test actually failed. We can also see that the test resulted in a rejection, and that is because it failed. In a few moments, RevTrack will convert the test results from XML to HTML so that they will be viewable. Here we can see the HTML file and we can read the test results. We can see that one failure occurred and of course that's because the numc value in the data type. So to remedy this, the developer can now return back to the data type change that back to the intended value, 
create an additional transport to remedy this issue. Assign it to the same rev track request, of course. When returning to the technical tab, we can see the original transport, of course, was migrated to QA, um, but this additional remedy transport will now need to be migrated to QA. So once the developer is happy that they've got uh, the remedy and the defect managed in the QA system, they can then trigger the migration to QA. Here we can see the logs progressing for the additional transport and those import steps occurring in the background. Once again, we have a successful migration, so RevTrack has automatically approved the in-QA status. You can also see the references have kicked off a separate test to Tosca. So this one is currently in a status of test submitted. We're turning back to the server where Tosca resides. We can see that those test, um, test scripts and test cases are in progress and busy being run. And again, this is not me doing it, this is Tosca. My mouse is not in play at the moment. Now we can see the test has been completed on the Tosca end. We can return to RevTrack. This time, testing complete has been approved, and we can see in the approval history, the testing complete was performed by the auto tester. Unlike many of the other steps where I've manually approved it, these are automatically approved based on the return code received from Tosca. If we look at the references, we can see the second test was a pass. And eventually, once that XML is converted, we'll be able to see the test results in HTML format. In this case, we've got uh, no failures, all successes and all green lights confirming a successful test. When we're happy with the results and we're ready to proceed, we can now trigger the migration to the production instance. 